There are traditional streaming services, and then there's BingePipe. What's the difference? How is BingePipe superior? Is BingePipe even a real streaming service? Why so many questions? Is it hot in here? What's that over there? Fork. Highway. Telephone. Democracy. Binge pipe. We're just another thing. Don't worry about it. Binge pipe content is like glitter. You'll never be rid of it. Here's more. Hi, I'm Mike Builder, CEO of Jackbox Games. Ugh. Sorry, I mean VP of Binge Pipe Gaming. Everyone at what used to be Jackbox is thrilled to bring You Don't Know Jack to Binge Pipe. We've been working hard to make the best game possible, sometimes going weeks without sleep. And if the praise I've been getting from the invisible elves who live in my teeth is any indication, we've been very successful. But why stop there? Each time I take a sip of dark purple water from the binge pipe water cooler, I get a new million dollar game idea. Like Day Drinker, Pickle Police, Cyst Blaster 64, Toilet Race, Too Many Wedding Guests, Space Deniers, Dank Meme Summer Camp, Guess My Stepdad, Everybody Help Grandma, Gamblity, blamblity, duplity, dee, do, and WordSpud3. So if you love consumerism, keep your Binge Pipe subscription up to. Binge Pipe is ignoring our lawyers and presenting You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe. We think we're right. Hello, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I'm not here to replace your dad. I'm just here to read some trivia questions. Okay, buddy? Eight players, okay. Well, with a party this size, gratuity will automatically be added to your final scores. And welcome to all of you in the audience who couldn't be bothered to buy the game. I'm adding an audience bonus just for you. The better the audience does on a question, the less bonus money goes to the players. But if the audience screws it up, there's going to be a lot of cash on the line for that right answer. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's start with Deep Shark Secrets. If you said I've got bigger fish to fry to a great white shark, what would you be frying? A blue whale, a whale shark, a bluefin tuna, or a giant squid?
Hope you like what you picked. Honestly, a whale is not a fish. <laughs> Giant squids are huge, but they're not fish. They're mollusks. <laughs> a whale shark is the biggest fish on Earth. That we know of. There are things down there in the deepest deep, unmentionable things. Maybe uh, a shark with the face of a dog, or a dog with the face of my mom. Who knows what's down there? And how the audience fare? Looks like a good chunk of this audience is just jabbing buttons at random. That means the right answer is worth a little extra. Don't spend it all in one place. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Introducing, is there a Mrs. Worldwide? If the rapper Pitbull wanted to honor the origins of the Pitbull, what sexy club scene should he show in his next music video? A Rottweiler grinding on a pug, a Bulldog grinding on a terrier, a Doberman grinding on a Dachshund, or a Boxer grinding on a Shih Tzu? Let's see how that shook out. In a word, that is not the correct answer to this you don't know Jack question. <laughs> Pit bulls were bred by mating a bulldog and a terrier. <laughs> Thankfully, we've made it through the only dog sex question in the game. Actually, I can't promise that. Why don't we do it with three? Here we have. Two titans face off and run! Run for your life! It's time for a dis or dat! I'm gonna read off seven things, and for each one, tell me if it describes Nicolas Cage, the Hollywood actor, Godzilla, the king of all monsters, or both. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between Nicolas Cage, Godzilla, or both. And you're all doing this together, so focus up. All set? Here we go. Has a dinosaur named after them. Has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Ambassador. Their tomb is a large pyramid. Named after a comic book character. song. Has starred in over 90 movies. Wow, that was mostly unimpressive. All right, let's move on. Try this on for size. Like lambs to the slather. If Buffalo Bill, the serial killer from Silence of the Lambs, were to run out of lotion, what lamb byproduct could he substitute into his creepy catchphrase? It rubs the castorium on its skin, it rubs the lanolin on its skin, it rubs the shellac on its skin, or it rubs the ambergris on its skin. And how do we do? Castorium is a secretion from a beaver's anus, commonly used as a food additive, especially to make artificial vanilla flavor. And it's your fault for getting this wrong and making us all learn that. <laughs>
Lanolin is a fatty substance that's extracted from sheep or lamb wool, and it's used in ointments. There is no hiding from more popular than Jesus. Imagine someone discovers a long-lost concept album by the Beatles based on the Beatitudes. Which of these songs would you expect to be on it? Blessed are the meek, take, eat, this is my body, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, or I will make you fishers of men. So who got it? That's from Psalms, Old Testament, like the Pete Best era. <coughs> According to the Bible, the Beatitudes were part of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. <laughs> There's like eight of them, I think. Nine, counting the drum solo. <laughs> Say goodbye to round one. Let's see which of you is my favorite. Currently, player five is in the lead. And as a counterpoint, these players are highly valued, but their scores are not. Oh, that means it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Screwing during a question makes life a little tougher for all the other players in a variety of enjoyable ways. And you- Fine, we'll skip it. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. We didn't approve this point structure, but okay. Six trombones is not a parade. Behold, from here to maternity. What might you have heard in the delivery room as Zeus gave birth to the goddess Athena? Breathe deep, then push out of your chest. Relax, then one big push out of your belly button. You got this, just push out of your forehead. Or, whoa, is this going to happen out of your nose? So watch out. Player 8 just let loose a screw. Binge Pipe was going to make you read this eventually. Might as well be now. Okay, who chose what? Could be worse. You know, in theory. <laughs> Athena was birthed from Zeus's forehead as a fully grown adult. And if the birth happened from way up in the forehead, I can only imagine the size of that episiotomy. <laughs> Nicely screwed play rate. Here's that cash. J'ai mangé tous les oeufs. Sept. Let's try my inner truth. So I've had a moment to reflect, and there's something I have to confess, and I think I should do it before we go on any further. I didn't really get that episiotomy joke at the end of the last question. Um, what's an episiotomy? An incision of the trachea, an incision of the sacrum, an incision of the perineum, or an incision of the lymph nodes. I'm pretty sure it's one of those things. Let's see who got it. I'm pretty sure... no. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. An episiotomy is a surgical incision of the perineum. Got it. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. All cleared up. Totally understand now. Thanks. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Next up. I've seen a lot of things. So imagine professional wrestler John Cena had the ability to see into the future, but only while eating cookies. Hold on. Sorry. I, I can't believe I have to do this again. <sighs> What's a perineum? I refuse to sully this game with an answer. I refuse to taint this game with an answer. I refuse to tarnish this game with an answer. Or I refuse to blemish this game with an answer. So, what'd you pick? 
Oh, okay, okay, yep, taint, got it. Hmm, <laughs> poor Zeus. Na, 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 na. This one's called Sportswear That Shows Off Your Religious Figure. And oh boy, best butt zit slime chore. It's time for a Think fast on this one. The longer you take, the less cash you make. Okay, here it comes. Okay, look at the gibberish phrase and tell me what movie title it rhymes with. Gymnastic priests planned their new lined hem. And don't let that punctuation trip you up. Magic is everywhere. If you're looking in the right place. Amazing animals with a map to their location. I give up. What was it? <laughs> Let's get on with it, shall we? Here's one for you. Let's get some math for the table. If the dim sum of six pork dumplings and two spicy shrimp dumplings is eight dumplings, what would be the dim product? Binge Pipe loves our users so much, we gave you this menu screen. Binge Pipe is a streaming service with all your favorites, such as the reboot of the classic game You Don't Know Jack and... Did we mention You Don't Know Jack? We are definitely real. Binge Pipe knows what you want to watch even when you can't articulate it. What do I like to watch? Um, thumb, smack, water, jack. Plumps, darts, in a jar? Petu petunias, and corn. I, I, I don't know. Why am I having so much trouble? Drugged. Binge Pipe, in an effort to taint your childhood memories, has decided to bring back You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, why not subscribe to One More Thing? Hey friends, I'm Cookie Masterson, your host, and I am wearing a wire, so don't say any mob stuff around me. Eight players? That's double the number of people who will attend Player 5's funeral. And since we've got some folks in overflow seating, I'll be tacking an audience bonus onto every question. The more audience members pick the right answer, the less bonus money goes to the players. But if the audience really tanks it, that right answer is gonna be worth big bucks. And right this way. Start the game. Time for question one. To get things rolling, 
I read 10 books this year, but they all involved finding Waldo. Everyone seems so focused on the where, but I'm gonna ask a question other people seem to overlook. Who is Waldo? A mysterious loner created by Beatrix Potter, a wandering enigma created by Maurice Sendak, a complicated man created by P.D. Eastman, or a lost soul created by Martin Handford. What'd you guys pick? Martin Handford is the creator of Where's Waldo? Some mornings, Waldo looks into the mirror and sees himself, but other times he sees a guy who looks like him but isn't wearing glasses, or a barber pole that just got thrown in there to mess with him. And how'd our lovely audience do? So, not the smartest group then. That means I'm dealing out bonus cash for that right answer. You can thank me later. Take a good look at The Geriatric Avenger. The secret to box office millions is letting a 95-year-old comic book writer wander through your film. If there were an Etsy store called Stanley Cameos, what would it sell? Stanley's profile engraved on necklace pendants, Stanley's silver hair intertwined on cross stitch pillows, Stanley's fingerprints on decorative clothing pins, or soy candles that smell like Stanley. I love this part. That smell, if you're wondering, is Dr. Pepper, caramel candy, and massive piles of money. <laughs> when you engrave an image into a material and wear it as jewelry, it's known as a cameo. Yeah. Why don't we do it with three? Why not try Avenue Q and A? And it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a song from the musical Avenue Q or a tweet from celebrity Gary Busey. Answer quick, you'll only have a few seconds to choose between Avenue Q or Gary Busey. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Okay, let's do it. I'm not wearing underwear today. someone and they'll shut up. Not every F word is the F word. The internet is for porn. a little bit racist. I just made spaghetti for the first time. Things are in season for a reason. Not a lot of rock stars, but uh, decent rhythm section. But player seven, you couldn't have done much worse. The binge pipe algorithm has detected hurt feelings. Looks like it's screw time. That is the truth, Cookie. Use the screw to make answering a question harder for all the other players. The results may surprise you, and you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Yeah, okay, they get it. Happy to engage with you. You're my question for forevermore. I love you. My question for. Feast your eyes upon this. 
This time machine runs on diesel. If Vin Diesel traveled back in time and convinced Jane Austen to write a sequel to one of her classic novels, what Fast and Furious inspired title would it have? Too Sound, Too Fury, Too Pride, Too Prejudice, Too Old Man, Too Sea, or Too War, Too Peace? Okay, let's take a look. This might be discouraging. Jane Austen wrote the timeless classic, Pride and Prejudice. Too pride, too prejudice. Haughty conversations just got haughtier. I call this one. Speaking of sequels, Say Vin Diesel convinced Jane Austen to write four sequels, all mirroring the Fast and Furious sequel titles. What should Pride and Prejudice 5 be called? Proud 5, Prejudice 5, Pride and Prejudice Tokyo Drift, or Fate of the Prejudice? Oh, look out. Player 7 unleashed that screw. Let me get rid of those pesky bowels. <laughs> Who picked what? Oh, ouch. <laughs> the fifth Fast and Furious movie was titled Fast Five. So please, stop tweeting at me saying I don't do enough Fast and the Furious references. Very nice screw job, Player 7. Have some cash. <laughs> Round 1 is dead to me. Let's see those scores. Currently, Player 1 is in the lead. And down here. These players could use a little help, and there's no shame in that. When the going gets tough, the tough gets more screws. And don't forget, round two screws screw even harder. And you'll net more cash for each player that answers wrong. So don't be shy about using them. The rest of you better answer fast if you don't want to be screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled. In case you care about things like that. Time and fun stops for no one. Six trombones is not a parade. And now, I go for the robot sex, but I stay for the heavily telegraphed plot twists. What should HBO title a Westworld spin-off if the producers wanted the title to contain an ordinal direction? Eastworld, Upworld, Southwestworld, or... Oh, this'll be good. <laughs> Player 5 just dropped a screw on you guys. Embrace the change. Or don't. Okay, what'd you pick? Check, please. The ordinal directions on a compass, also known as the intercardinal directions, are southwest, northwest, northeast, and southeast. And in Southwest World, you can go to all the Arizona Cardinal games you want, and marijuana is mostly legal in some parts of it. Nicely screwed, Player 5. This is your cash now. Oh, and I see we have some new names. Yeah, that feels right. Coming up next, Diet Word Salad. Which of these is an actual flavor of Dr. Pepper? Diet Cherry Vanilla Dr. Pepper? Cherry Vanilla... Oh, here it comes. Okay, Player 7 just screwed the room. This question just got some added security. So who got it? Obviously, the official order of these words is Diet Cherry Vanilla Dr. Pepper. 
As opposed to Dr. Pepper Cherry Diet Vanilla, my orthodontist who was raised in a progressive polyamorous multi-parental family where everybody had silly last names. Nice use of the screw player seven. Here's your extra cash. We'd like to offer you a chance to gain some content while also losing some other content. Would you like a question you've already played or a question you'll play again later? Choose on your devices now. Here are the votes. And now, we'll fulfill our promise and deliver your content. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Here's one I like to call, a question you've already played. If Vin Diesel traveled back in time and convinced Jane Austen to write a sequel to one of her classic novels, what Fast and Furious inspired title would it have? Two crime, two punishment, two mice, two men, two cents, two sensibility, or two Harry Potter, two prisoner of Azkaban. Let's see how that shook out. Afraid not. Besides writing Pride and Prejudice, Jane Austen also wrote Sense and Sensibility. Yeah. Two Cents, Two Sensibility would star Eleanor Dashboard and Edward Ferrari. Yeah, and that show goes out to all the diehard Austin heads in the house. I see you out there. Na, 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 na. How about this one? Sabbatical to the bone. What makes the most sense to do after high school if you take a gap year? Fold Lucky Brand jeans, fold 1969 jeans, fold Arizona jeans, or fold Diesel jeans? And how do we do? Congrats, you got the folding part right. 1969 is the brand name of Gap Jeans. Next, the stupidest question in the whole game. Which of these ebooks is also an ebook? Vince's brother, an entourage novel. Vince's agent, an entourage mystery. Vince's driver, an entourage adventure. Or Vince's manager, an entourage novella. So what'd you pick? E was the nickname of Vince's friend and manager on Entourage. Did HBO ever make any shows after Entourage? My mom stopped letting me use her account. It's time for the attack. Oh, I'm sorry, I was hosting the game. How stupid of me. Here's your clue. Part of the team. I hope you know what official titles belong on what teams. Good luck.
one takes it! Excellent job, Player One. You really put some distance between you and the competition. Sure, it's impressive, but you've really got to learn to let people in. Until then... You don't know Jack! Binge Pipe is revel... While other streaming services are satisfied with just providing quality content, Binge Pipe is never satisfied. We have an insatiable hunger for content that haunts our every waking hour. Please, enjoy this game, because we have forgotten how to enjoy anything. Binge Pipe, there was nothing. Binge Pipe is oddly a little bit horny about bringing back You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, you might as well trust us. Hey there, I'm Cookie, and Binge Pipe's got me on one of those celebrity fad diets where you only eat poisonous beetles. Mm-hmm. I can feel it working. Eight people. That reminds me of my childhood dog, because he also ate people. Specifically my neighbor Brandon, and it was it was just one finger, but yeah, he, he ate a finger. And I see we've got some gawkers in the audience, which means I'll be adding an audience bonus to every question. The more audience members get a question right, the less bonus money goes to the players. But if the audience really whiffs it, that right answer is gonna be worth major moolah. Okay, let's see what lies ahead. Start the game. Time for question one. To get started, it's boss. If Old Spice came out with a deodorant with an Elon Musk musk, what would it smell like? A freshly opened Amazon box, an unused iPhone, a brand new Tesla, or a bag of whole food produce? Let's see who got it. Get ready to lose a whole lot of money. <laughs> Elon Musk is the CEO of Tesla Motor Company. And I for one welcome driverless cars because it's in cars that I'm most commonly subjected to other people's body odor. And how the audience do on that one? I've seen a lot worse, but uh, I've also seen better. That means that right answer is worth even more. Consider that your birthday present. It's time for a gritty reboot for a candy shell. I'm considering creating a competing candy to M&M's called Memento Mori's. An accurate slogan for my product would be melts in your mouth, but not in a pleasurable way. Just as your enemies planned, like a decomposing corpse. Or, and your hands. Life is chaos. Okay, let's take a look. Revenge is a dish best served with a caramel filling. <laughs> Memento Mori is Latin for remember death. Any slogan that reminds customers of the inevitable grave would qualify. Sure, you've had dark chocolate, but have you had nihilistic chocolate? Why don't we do it with cream? Up next, grind it like Beckham and get out your dollar bills because it's time for a dis or dat. Dis or dat. I'm going to read seven names and for each I want you to tell me if it's an English football club that plays in the Premier League or a male strip club. Don't think too hard. I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between an English football club or a male strip club. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Here it comes. Man City. Crystal 
palace. Most of you earned my respect, but player three, you just plain sucked at that dis or dat. Uh-oh, binge pipe diagnosticates that someone is pouting. Sounds like it's screw time. <laughs> That's correct, binge pipe employee Cookie Masterson. Using a screw makes it harder for all the other players to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a bonus for each player who chooses incorrectly. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have said it better myself, apparently. Perks you can only get through Binge Pipe. I don't need you anymore. Coming up, the dessert that dare not speak its name. It's true that we can't have our cake and eat it too, but... Let's say you wanted to eat your cake, then have it, uh, later. You have your reasons, okay? I'm, I'm no one to judge. In progression, how will your cake change its name before you can, <clears throat> have it back? Cake bolus kime poo, cake trochee bile poo, cake amylase... Brace yourself. <laughs> Player three decided to screw. I hope you can still read this. I really do not. Love this part. Okay, that's wrong, but I'm so glad you picked this one. Glomblum is a word I made up, and I want people to start using it. It, it can mean anything. I don't care. Glomblum. Make it viral. <laughs> After food is chewed, it's known as bolus. Then in the stomach, it becomes chyme before legally changing its name to poo. And the best part is, it's all yours. You can have it. Nice use of the screw, Player 3. Spend this wisely. This one's known as allegedly delicious. No one can get you out of a jam like a lawyer, especially in a foreign country. If you want to toast your Spanish lawyer, what are you ordering? Avocado toast, abogado toast, arigato toast, or a bogota toast? Hope you like what you picked. I always have trouble eating a Vagoda toast. I'm never sure if it's dead. <laughs> Abogado is Spanish for lawyer, so that's what you'll be ordering. <laughs> toast is not actually Spanish for toast. Tiny spreadable lawyer not included. Any lawyer present may not be green. Trying to put a lawyer onto toasted bread may result in civil liabilities and up to 98 years in prison. Round one is history. Time to count your chips while sitting at the table. Currently, these players are tied for the lead. Speaking of the exact opposite of that, 
These players are making everyone feel bad. We have some more screws to help our targeted numbers. And remember, round two screws are more powerful, and they'll net you more cash for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't forget to use them. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and did I mention all the money's doubled in round two? You're doing so well, Cookie. Six trombones is not a parade. Coming up next, the old diners, drive-ins, and dives. If Guy Fieri uses the traditional English definition of town, what must his flavor town include? A flavor fountain, a flavor market, a flavor... Look sharp. Ah, player three used that screw. Come to terms with these terms of service. Okay, who chose what? Let's put this one on the flip-flop. That means this is wrong, I think. A town, according to traditional English standards, is a village with a fair or market. I thought an English town, by definition, had to have a little old lady solving local mysteries. Nicely done with that screw, Player 3. Enjoy your cash. Take a good look at Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein. Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein. It's monster. Shell collector. Octopus Coffee. Well, what do you know? Player two has invoked the screw. Get ready to stand on your head. you guys pick? <laughs> Octopi build decorative gardens out of shells, rocks, and garbage they find on the ocean floor. Sure, when an octopus lines their space with trash, they're brilliant. When I do it, I'm asked to work from home. Yeah, that screw is a good move, player two. I believe this belongs to you. algorithm demands your input. Would you like a tricky question or a blunt question? Use your device to select your preference. Here are the consequences of your choices. You have engaged with the process. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. It's time for a blunt question. Snoop Dogg created which term for marijuana when he mispronounced a method of growing cannabis? Doobie, dank, chronic, or the devil's lettuce? picked what? One night Snoop Dogg misheard someone say hydroponic and a piece of slang was born. Hydroponics, of course, being the act of growing cannabis without soil using nutrient-rich water. Uh, at least that's, that's what an older boy told me. Na, 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 na. Why not try when the clock strikes, ah! 
Assuming the apocalypse hasn't happened and you're alive to read this question, what was the most peaceful time ever featured on the Doomsday Clock since 1947? 9 minutes to midnight, 17 minutes to midnight, 22 minutes to midnight, or 31 minutes to midnight? Let's see how that shook out. <laughs> After the Cold War ended in 1991, the minute hand on the doomsday clock was set back to 11.43 p.m. Today, anything earlier than like 11.50 on that clock is just blank. Behold, flush to judgment. Oh, sorry, I had to take a bathroom break. Okay, moving on. What does it mean if your poop is white? <clears throat> uh, asking for a friend. My friend is lacking bile in their stool. My friend is bleeding internally. My friend is eating too much fatty food. Or my friend is evolving into a bird. So what'd you pick? <laughs> White poop is a sign that the person, aka my friend, is lacking bile in their stool. Okay, uh, so I guess I could buy a tub of bile somewhere, but then I have to figure out a way to get it up my butt. Ow. made it to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Flagging enthusiasm. I sure hope you've seen what's on some flags in your life. Good luck. I gotta hand it to you, player one. You won. Bask in this. Bask in this. 
Basilisk. Basket. Wait, what was I saying? You don't know Jack! This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Your room isn't ready yet, so let's play a game of life and death. Only one of you will survive. Quick tip, it's easier to win if you cut all emotional attachments now. All right, first question. Which of these stores was founded in Germany? Use your device to answer the question. I'm talking to you too, audience. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you... It's time. Put on the Do Disturb sign. We're at room 101. Let's see who has ESP. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. And I do mean anyone. Now, let's see if there are any matches. If you get your mind red, you get your mind dead. <laughs> Surprise! Everyone who dies in this hotel turns into a ghost. Keep playing, and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Oh, by the way, the audience is a player now and can win the whole frickin' game. Hot tip, you can join the audience at any time. Let's try another one. Which of these cute fish has a glowing lure growing out of their head? Who picked this? Way too easy. Let's keep moving. Which Shakespeare play is Mark Antony in, besides Antony and Cleopatra? Time 
Time's running out. Who picked this? One of you is still alive. Come with me. Bonjour! Welcome back to the killing room. I hope you like gifts. All this family stuff holds bad memories for me. So I'd rather pass that burden on to you. Pick a box and keep what's inside. Family s- Oh! Oh, it's one of Uncle Clive's old time bombs. You'll have to answer questions a lot faster now to keep from blowing up. I should really keep better track of where he's hitting all those bombs. Let's try another one. Okay. Let's just relax as I slowly brush this hair across your face. Whose hair? Don't worry about it. What does the S in ASMR stand for? Who <laughs> picked this? Time for consequences. Time to try to save yourself with a password. Enter a real four-letter word with your device. Don't make it easy. If someone cracks your password, you die. Now everyone else will try to crack the password. As a team, guess the password on your device. You get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. If anyone figures out the password before time runs out, I will reward you all. Don't be greedy about what letters you figured out. Let everyone know. Time's almost up. I hope you do a better job with your bank account password. Just because you're dead doesn't mean that unexploded bomb has to leave the game. There's a wheel on your controller right now, and you have a few seconds to bequeath it to another player. But you gotta do it fast. Oh hey, somebody wrote a will before they died. It says they left their gift to you. Some gifts just won't go away. We're here. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. Who's the shortest of these NBA players? Who picked this? Follow me. Let's get our math on. Do as much math as you can before time runs out. Everyone else will be playing along. If any of them do better than you, you'll die. Let's go!
Make sure to show your work. Ha! <laughs> Remember that. You're running out of math time. As we say in team sports, you were mathematically eliminated. Let's keep moving. Which city rings in the new year first? This. Only a ghost got it wrong. Well, that sucks. Let's try another one. I recently went to Madagascar. I know, humble brag. And I think something followed me home. It looks like a raccoon rat thing and comes out at night. So it's gotta be the, what? I want to show you something. Congratulations! You've been entered in my scratch ticket giveaway! Scratch and find three dollar signs to live. And if you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for all the extra dollar signs you find. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. Get to scratching! Ooh, wouldn't it feel good to scratch some more spots? The contest is almost over. Played it pretty safe. Boo! In retrospect, I should have made these cards with all skulls on them. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I should cheat! Let's keep moving. Out of all the mammals found on land, why do I find Moose the most attractive? Time's almost up. Who picked this? Follow me. Ah, the lost art of letter writing. I'm going to dictate a message to you. Write down as much of what I say as you can. Everyone else will be typing, too. And if anyone does a better job than you, you die. Okay, let me lean back in this chair and get my feet up. And we begin. Dear Customer Service Department, I am extremely frustrated with the quality of the electric toothbrush I purchased through your website. Sure, it cleans my teeth just fine, but it failed me when I tried to use it 
to remove an eyeball. No need for a response. I will find you if the product does not improve. Time's up. Okay, now let me just look back at my beautiful words as tra- And here's how you did. But did anyone do better than you? You were not the best. Growing up, I always told myself I wouldn't get into the family business of killing people in this hotel. But you probably never expected to be killed in this hotel either. Ha! Huh, life's just funny, you know. Let's try another one. Hell is other people, according to what? That bomb blew up, but we gotta keep moving with the game. Who picked... this? I'll have to kill my writers. Ah, crap. It's checkout time and too many of you are still alive. Let's fix that. Congrats on making it here alive. But can you escape? I'm going to give you a category. Chronicles of Narnia books. Tap each and let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. You're a little bit closer to escaping. Oh wait, did you think it was going to be just you? Aww, that's cute. If a ghost catches you, he'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And they get a third chance to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Let's just call that a fluke. Toilet paper brands. Terminology. Kind of a gimme. Don't fall behind. Here comes the darkness. Prepositions. Time is almost up. You cannot run that ghost forever. Movies with the werewolf. Gotta get some harder questions. It's not over yet. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. And that includes the third answer choice now, too.
The local residents familiar with the abandoned building's history know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close to the dock. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Death's in the air. And there's free coffee in the lobby. Only one of you will survive. But surviving is different than thriving. I saw that on a Target pillow once. Okay, first question. Which of these ominous warnings is correct? Use your device to answer the question. <laughs> and the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Which leaves only you. It's time. And here are your bags. Welcome to room 105. Heads! You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. You know what? We need some death zones. Hey, you. Pick the landing slots that kill. Okay! Let the games begin! Pick a spot to drop from. It's fun! Ever heard of Chaos Theory? Well, this is Chaos Fact. Land in a sl- They don't call them death zones for nothing. Don't worry, the end of your life isn't the end of your participation. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Oh, also, there's an audience in the game. If they survive, you die. If you're not ready now, you can join the audience, whatever. It's like super low crush. Let's keep moving. What giant thing sits in the main courtyard of the Louvre? Consequences. Welcome to room 227. Hopefully you can defend yourself from ESP. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. Get to writing. Time's almost up! Now, let's see if there are any matches. We've got Mind Meld!
Let's try another one. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, what's the least frequently occurring letter in English? Almost out of time! Who picked... this? The rest of you, come with me! It's magic time! Pick a space inside the box to hide. I'm not sure if there's oxygen, so try shallow breathing. <laughs> Any good magic trick needs some helpful volunteers. Here's the fun part. You get a sword. On your device, choose a row or a column to run your sword through. On guard! Ooh! Ah! We're here! When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question! What British TV show is Dancing with the Stars based on? Time's almost up. Who picked this? The rest of you who are still alive. Time for consequences. Ah, the spirit of giving. You each get $500. Give some of that money to your friend. The person who ends up with the most money will die. But there's a catch. If one of you ends up with $800 or more, I'll kill the other one instead. Begin. <laughs> Time for fiscal revelations. If you're overfunded, you're safe. But if you invested in them... <laughs> Let's keep moving. What was the name of Oedipus Rex's <coughs> mom? This. I want to show you something. A game of telephone. I'm giving each of you a telephone, but I only have two phone numbers. 
Dial one of these numbers on your rotary phone before anyone else, or you die. You should be thankful I'm not making you pay for this call with quarters. Slow, gotta go. <laughs> Let's try another one. What year did John Stewart host his final episode of The Daily Show? Ghost got it wrong. Welp, didn't want that to happen. Let's keep moving. Besides losing a baby, what did Charles Lindbergh do that made him so special? growing up in this terrifying hotel. I would kill to feel like that kid again. Which is sort of the whole premise for this game, I guess. Let's try another one. Who can I blame if my haunted gramophone plays for Elise? as you can before time runs out. Everyone else is playing too. If any of them correctly follow more rules than you, I will kill you. Go! I wonder if anyone's paying attention to what I'm saying right now. Mushroom, Mushroom, Stinky Shark, Sacramento. Almost out of rules time!
You got outruled. <laughs> Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. You've made it so far, but can you escape? I'm going to give you a category. Plays by Moliere. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You advance one space for every correct answer. You're on your way to escaping. Oh, wait, did you think it was going to be just you? Aww, that's cute. If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And they get a third chance to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Those ghosts are closing in on ya! JD Naps! Ranks of organisms and taxonomy! Tables have turned. Don't look behind you. It's only darkness. Has more than six legs. Time is almost up. Another life force swap! Here comes the next question. Kentucky Derby winners. That ghost can smell your life force! Nocturnal animals! Next question. Parts of an animal cell. Time is almost up. WNBA teams. Darkness approaches. This will slow you down. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need to ace this next question. And if you're still alive and want to break through, you have to get all three answer choices right. Ask me the 
popcorn. This one's close. Let the darkness consume you. Has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Time is almost up. You have to get all the right answers to escape. 